Good morning, gamers. This is Mark with your Ohio Hammer R&R for the week ending September 30th, 2012. To start things off this week, we have a new set of releases from Dragon Forge Games, the desecrated lands bases sculpted by Matthew Fontaine. To start things off, these are only available in the Games Workshop style sloped bases. There are two sets of 25 millimeter round, which you can get 10 bases for $10, two sets of 40 millimeter rounds, which are five bases for $7.50, two different 60 millimeters, a set of bike bases, a set of fatter bike bases, a tech bike base, as well as the large oval and the 120 millimeter round. Now, the nice thing is some of these even come with depressions to use for water effects. Also, Jeff has went ahead and just come up with build a better army deal set, or sale rather. Basically, this is a, you know, buy $50, get 5% off, buy $75, get 7.5% off. So go to Dragon Forge Games for details on this. The sale will run up through October 7th, so you have a week. But I highly recommend uh, Dragon Forge Games. They've given me most of my Malifaux bases, so thumbs up on these. Moving on, Privateer Press has went ahead and released what I believe is the final Colossal. The Protectorate of Menoth Judicator. $135. This is a plastic... I'm sorry. This is a, a resin white metal hybrid kit. 120 millimeter base, as all the Colossals have been. I, I, I really like the the wing look on this guy with the, the weapon pods. And I do believe, again, that this is the final of the Colossals. Hopefully... We will start to see a few more of the gargantuans coming out. So kudos to Privateer Press on this release. Next up, we have Puppets War. We go ahead and start out with the the Thunder Crow fighter. Now they have both a, a standard kit for 30 euros, as well as a add-on pack to turn the Puppets War Land Speeder into a Storm Talon. I don't have the price on that one, however. And I really like some of the stuff coming out of Puppets War. And this is just one of those pieces that I definitely want to, you know, see in person, just to see if it uh, if it holds up. Next up, to follow along with the Chaos releases, Puppets War is releasing two sets of shoulder pads. Five and a half euros for five shoulder pads. Again, a definite chaos -y theme. Moving into Raging Heroes, we go ahead and see the work in progress for Ivanka's little sister. She's a, a really stunning commissar sculpt. And they're trying to get the people in the Slavic countries to help find a name and a motto for her. So go ahead and check out RagingHeroes.com and check out Ivanka's little sister. And really, the final thing I've got this week, but it has a lot, Warlord Games. We start out with their Roman army deals. You have the Roman forces of Marcus Spandex for 350 the Legions of Rome for 220 and for 80 the Roman Auxiliary, as well as quite a few releases for bold action. You have the British Airborne Anti-Tank Gun. You have a 500-point SS Army for $50. The 1,000-point version for $120. Or the 2,000-point version for $240. You also have a 500 and 1,000-point Army deal for the U.S. Airborne. As well as they went ahead and shown... Uh, the cover and the contents for their starter set, Assault on Normandy. Now, again, I don't have a price on this, but it does con seem to contain the full hardcover rulebook. 
uh, 20 U.S. Army, 20 German infantry, as well as a ruined uh, farmhouse, and eight order dice. So if you're looking to get into bold action, this might be a good little starter set to get your fleet wet. And with that, guys, it was a relatively short week for releases, and I will see you next week.